Well, good morning and welcome to the first, uh, what I'm calling the Tiny Desk Sermons. I'm here in the preschool classroom. Uh, Mrs. Sullivan was nice enough to uh, lend me her classroom since it's got the smallest desk. I thought this was the fitting place to do these. Uh, so today uh, we're going to hear from the, the word of the Lord in the book of the prophet Samuel. So what we're going to do is we're going to hear verses 1 through 10 of chapter 3 of the book of uh, 1 Samuel. I'm going to share just a couple thoughts with you. So please invite you to join me. Uh, the word of the Lord as it came to the prophet Samuel. Now the young man Samuel was ministering to the Lord under Eli. And the word of the Lord was rare in those days. There was no frequent visitation. At that time, Eli, whose eyesight had begun to grow dim so that he could not see, was lying down in his own place. The lamp of God had not yet gone out, and Samuel was lying down in the temple of the Lord, where the ark of God was. Then the Lord called Samuel, and he said, Here I am, and ran to Eli and said, Here I am, for you called me. But he said, I did not call. Lie down again. So he went and lay down. And the Lord called again Samuel, and Samuel rose and went to Eli and said, Here I am, for you called me. But he said, I did not call you, my son. Lie down again. Now Samuel did not yet know the Lord, and the word of the Lord had not yet been revealed to him. And the Lord called Samuel again the third time. And he arose and went to Eli and said, Here I am, for you called me. Then Eli perceived that the Lord was calling the young man. Therefore Eli said to Samuel, Go, lie down, and if he calls you, you shall say, Speak, Lord, for your servant hears. So Samuel went and lay down in his place. And the Lord came and stood, calling at other times calling as at other times, Samuel, Samuel. And Samuel said, speak for your servant hears. This is the word of the Lord. So this is the Old Testament reading for this upcoming Sunday. And it's a favorite text of mine because I think it speaks to something that we often neglect in our lives. And that is that we, we, we want to have this grand calling. You know, we all have this idea of the great calling of life. Now, if you've seen the movie Soul, uh, the new Pixar movie, it's the spark, right? You know, and, and the idea that that's our purpose, that's what we are called to do. But one of the things I think we sometimes neglect is that it's not so much the calling of life, but the callings of life. And by that, I mean the fact that we're not so much destined for one great thing, but for many great things. Many things that God gives us an opportunity to do each day. A lot of us, maybe we wait like Samuel and, and want to hear this grand word that the Lord gives us. But in that waiting for that word to appear to us or to be called out by our name, do we neglect when our Lord does call us by our name? In the waters of holy baptism, when he makes us his children, when he puts his mark upon us and frees us from our debt to sin, our slavery to the wages of sin, to death, and rather makes us his, his own, makes us his children. And we have an opportunity to live that out in our daily life. Each day when, when we wake up, when we have the, the first breath with our eyes open in the morning, our head still on the pillow, we have an opportunity to answer the call that our Lord gives us. When our Lord calls each of us by name, and it's in our vocations, our, our different roles that we fulfill. Some of us may be blessed to be parents. Some of us are still children. Some of us are husbands and wives. Some employers, employees. All these different things that God gives us to do. We have an opportunity each day to take that for what it is, a great blessing, a great opportunity to answer his call. And so, I want you to think about that this week. Think about how you can live out your callings for life. Thank you for joining me for the first Tiny Desk Sermon. The desk may be small, but our God is great. Have a wonderful week. Bye.